Alright, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to get add-ons working for Kodi on iPad. And this is just a continuation of videos that people make. They never ever tell how to get add-ons on an iPad, like Fusion or something. They always tell you how to download the app, which is quite simple, and get rid of that Chinese language. So, uh, I'm just going to show you the aftermath. And I'm going to link those videos in the description so you can watch them first. Um, before coming here. So whenever you open the app, it always starts up in this weird 3D mode. I'm not sure why. But you always always have to do this. Go to system. Go to system again. There's going to be an option that says video output. You want to see this? Hold the studio to pick 3D mode. Just click that and click disable. Now you're going to be looking at it like you're on a PC. I've actually got it running on my PC up there for just in case. So Basically, when you get here, you're going to want to add some add-ons, right? So, normally, you would go to File Manager, and then Add Source. But as you can see, the button doesn't work. As you can see, I already have Fusion going on right now. In case you notice by the difference in the background, what you're going to have to do is get an iOS device or an Android with the app called Cebu Remote for Kodi. It looks like this. Cebu Kodi. You click that. And um, what you want to do is connect it to your iDevice. It's, it tells you everything. You just click the information button here. As you can see, my iPad's name is unknown user exception, port 808, username Cody, password Cody. And then there's an option that says setup instructions. I'm not going to show you how to set it up because it's very simple and it would take too much time. So what you do is once you've connected it, you actually have more control over the device because for some reason, it does not let you just add the source from here. So, you're going to have to add it from the device itself. So, once you've set it up, like I told you, you just gotta go look at the instructions. You can move this around, you can control the device from here. And it works fine. So, I'm gonna go to Add Source. And click OK. Now I can set it up. And this is where I would add Fusion, so you just click None. It brings up the keyboard, so you can actually type here. Let me focus. So I'm gonna do fusion. No, I'm gonna do HTTP. Fusion. Dot TV add-ons. Dot AG. Once you do that, just click done, and it's been added there. I'm not gonna add it again, of course, but and then name it dot fusion. So, dot fusion. So once you've done that, it will show up right here, and that's where you need to do this guy again. Let me open it up. So I'm going to go home. No, I think I use this thing. Okay, so I'm going to go home. Go to File Manager. Go to Fusion. Go to Begin here. And then where it says Plugin. Dot Hub Wizard. You want to click that? Just go down. Down, down, down. Click it, and from there you can set this up by yourself. It gets simple. It installs something called Config Wizard. Run that. If I could press the home button, which is still from here. Okay, you'll want to go to Programs. Once it's installed, Config Wizard. You can do that by clicking Standard. And go to advanced and then it's going to show a program you click program and as you can see concrete wizard should be what you got you click it obviously you're going to install it for this one ios devices and it, you let it go through the process and voila you have Kodi working for your device so all you need is two apps 
one I'm sure you can get on the Android Play Store and one that's on the iOS Play Store, the App Store, called Cebu. focus but it's called CB Cody. So simple as that. Thanks for watching. And I'll link all those videos that only tell you how to do the first part.